Tonight, Chinese visitor numbers down. Teens charged over a smash and grab. Pan's chilliest morning in years. And inspiration for entrepreneurs. Across Cairns and far north Queensland, this is 7 News with Rob Brough and Joanne Desmond. Good evening, thanks for joining us. Good evening. Momentum is growing for Cairns to secure direct flights from China as the Asian tourist boom starts to plateau. The head of the Cairns airport is hoping to seal a deal and strengthen tourism in the region in the next month. Three boys, one just 13, have been charged over the smash and grab at an Earlville shop. The trio hurled rocks to break into the convenience store on Mulgrave Road last week. They stole sweets and mobile phones. Penalty rates, jobs and infrastructure were hot topics during a union congress last night. Cairns and Arriva have recorded their lowest temperatures in nearly two years. As many residents shivered through the early morning, Cafe workers were rushed off their feet selling hot coffees. Tableland's residents woke to icy cold conditions. Mariba's temperature dipped to 10.2 degrees overnight and Innisfail hit 9.2. In Cairns, people wore extra layers of clothing. Biosecurity Queensland is investigating after an invasive pest was discovered just south of Weeper. A not-for-profit group helping mental illness sufferers to get back on their feet will now be able to cook up a storm for its members and the community. A group of children who created an app have won a Queensland Award for Innovation. The youngsters will now head to Melbourne to pitch their business case. A group of emergency service personnel have hit the road, aiming to pedal their way to Cairns to raise money for the Children's Hospital Foundation. Fireys, police and paramedics are hoping to hand over $70,000 to the charity. And still to come tonight, we'll check out what's on this weekend. And people with disabilities set sail on new adventures. Nice having you with us on 7 News. A Cairns man who helped start a unique sailing program for people with disabilities is this week's local legend. Sailability volunteer Gordon Raleigh turns up at the Marlin Marina every week and tells his students to leave their disability behind. Well, you, Gordon. Gee, they get a lot out of it, mate, don't they? Just to remind if you know of a local legend, just email us the details at newscns at 7.com.au. Well, now, here's David Inky from Star 102.7 with a look at what's on around town this weekend. See you trackside this Saturday for a good cause. Enjoy a day of fun, fashion and fillies at the IGA Cairns Charity Race Day. And if you've got something you'd like us to mention in our What's On segment, send us an email to newscns at 7.com.au. We're David Inky from Star 102.7. Have a cracking weekend. Have a good weekend too. Thanks very much, guys. Let's get into the sport. Nath, uh, the odds of JT playing Saturday night affirming. Yeah, they are, Bruffy. The Cowboys superstar has pulled up well from contact work and he is in Darwin with the rest of the team. We'll have more next. And a former footy star returns to the region with some unfinished business for Sunday's Cairns Ironman. Welcome back to 7 News. Cowboys coach Paul Green is quietly optimistic about Jonathan Thurston returning from injury against Parramatta on Saturday night after the co-captain's shoulder responded well to this week's contact work. He was on the flight to Darwin this afternoon, along with a very happy Scott Bolton, who re-signed with the club today. Northern Pride coach Ty Williams has taken a novel approach to fixing his side's handling issues, forcing every player to buy and care for their own footy. Did Matt say sub 10 hours, 30 minutes out there for the Ironman? <laughs> no, just a wonderful athlete. He is. Spot on, mate. Good, Good luck. Yep. yep. Thanks, mate. All right, stay with us after the break. Livio has all the weather and Scotty Hillier has our fishing report as well.
Good evening, Livia Regano with tonight's weather. Well, today was a decidedly cool day right across Queensland. Single-digit temperatures last night, even in the coastal tropics and, of course, sub-zero on the Darling Downs. We'll probably reach a climax with a cold snap around about now or maybe tomorrow and then slowly warming up through the weekend. Temperatures today across far north Queensland. Cook down atop of 26 degrees. Mariba down to 10 last night, up to 24 uh, today. Even Cairns got pretty low last night, top of 26 today. Now to the satellite loop. Of course, uh, to get the coldest nights, you need clear sky. That's the basic recipe, and we're all familiar with that. And, of course, there's no cloud at all to be seen in Queensland, or very little. That's allowed all the heat to escape last night, produce those very low minimum temperatures. A little bit of cloud just offshore from the northern New South Wales coast, not really interfering with Queensland's weather. Now today's chart... It's so really nothing unusual about it, just a classic midwinter pattern. We've got a continental high just sitting pretty close to Adelaide. You've got a low that's digging its way into the Tasman Sea and that's causing the winds to take more of a southwesterly direction rather than southeasterly. So they're land based and they're dry and they're cool and they're propelling uh, the cool air slowly right up to the northern tropics. Tomorrow's chart won't look too much different. The low starts to basically phase out a little bit, gradually turning the wind more easterly, but it won't be until the weekend that it'll start to warm up. Now the latest from the Weather Bureau. Boating forecast for Cairns Water. It's a bit of a windy day on the water tomorrow. South easterly between 15 and 20 knots. Then not much of a change over the weekend. Big tides tomorrow with a full moon. The highs rolling in about 8.30 in the morning, a low not long before school pick-up time. Now the North Tropical Coast and Tablelands, mostly sunny tomorrow. An early frost on the Tablelands perhaps. Cairns, 13 to 25 degrees. Atherton, 9 to 19. Innisfail, 23. Mariba also a top of 23. Looking ahead for Cairns, a little cloudy over the weekend, but we'll only get the odd spot of rain here or there. Luckily, temperatures are still in the mid to high 20s, at least for a while. For Atherton, you'll be feeling the chill over the weekend, but next week it might get a degree or two warmer. Don't bet on it, though. It uh, will be responsible if you forget your fluffy socks. <laughs> Due to popular demand, I'm going to explain again why snow is such a rare thing in Queensland, even though temperatures do often fall below freezing. Falling snow can only survive to sea level when the air temperature is less than about 4 degrees. If it's any warmer, the snow melts before reaching the ground and we get sleet or rain. You've probably noticed in Queensland it only ever drops below freezing on clear nights when heat can easily escape into space. Problem is, you need cloud to get snow, and cloud acts like a blanket at night, instantly raising the temperature, so the mercury never makes it to the magic four degrees. Have a terrific evening, folks. Hope you can make it again tomorrow. Now it's over to Scott Healy with the fishing report. Yeah, good on you, mate. Cool conditions sees that water temperature continue to drop. Now, one species that love this are the brim. They've been around in pretty good numbers and well worth chasing this weekend. Here's a couple of tips. Spots weather shot over the weekend. The inlet, Yorkies Knob Marina, along with the Mulgrave River. Have a top weekend. Lovely. Thanks for that, Scotty. And that's all from us for tonight. Thanks very much for your company. Just a reminder, if you missed anything, we have a replay of our news on 7-2 in a moment. Otherwise, we'll catch you tomorrow night. Good night. Good night. On 7 News tonight, shoppers flee as police move in when a fake bomb is found in a caboolture shopping centre.